Hello everyone, and welcome to the Praxis Parapro Assessment Math section, brought to you by ParapropracticeTest.net. This is part of our four-part series covering reading, writing, math, and a full Parapro practice test. Since most people struggle with math, we're starting with it. This is a mock exam. While the real test has a total of 30 questions, we'll feature only 15 in this video, showing the correct answer at the end of each. If you want a practice test that closely resembles the real Parapro exam, you can take the full test for free using the link in the description. Without further delay, let's begin with question number one. By the way, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Back to the question. Joe paid $3.46 for a baseball, $12.56 for a bat, and $16.98 for a mitt. If the sales tax was 6%, what was the amount of sales tax Joe had to pay? A. $19.80 B. $34.98 C. $1.98 D. Find the perimeter and area of the figure. Formula for the area equals length into width. Option A, perimeter equals 15 centimeters, area equals 22 centimeters squared. Option B, perimeter equals 20 centimeters, area equals 22 centimeters squared. Option C, perimeter equals 18 centimeters, area equals 30 centimeters squared. Option D, none of the above. Question number three. The girls' basketball team scored the following points for the five home games. 35, 29, 49, 53, 34. What is the average of the basketball scores? Option A, 40. Option B, 49. Option C, 52. Option D, 33. Question number four. Looking at the image, find the current balance of the following check register. Option A, $376.13. Option B, $297.48. Option C, $248.61. Option D, $425. Question number five. Susan was paid $4.40 per hour on her job. She worked 40 hours during that week. How much did she make for the week? Option A, $200. Option B, $167. Option C, $237. Option D, $176.
Question number six. Susan receives time and a half for overtime. Using the information from problem five, compute Susan's salary, including six hours of overtime. Option A, $215.60. Option B, $219.80. Option C, $607.20. Option D, Question number seven. Pete walks to school every day. He wants to know how many miles he walks during the week. Using this map, how many times does he have to walk the distance between his house and the school to equal one mile or 5,280 feet? Option A, two. Option B, five. Option C, four. Option D, eight. Question number eight. What point is located at five negative five on this graph? Option A, six. Option B, five. Option C, one. Option D, three. Question number nine. Using the coordinate graph, what are the coordinates of point one? Option A, negative five, nine. Option B, five, nine. Option C, negative nine, five. Option D, nine, five. Question number 10. Using the coordinate graph, what are the coordinates of point 2? Option A, 6, 4. Option B, 4, 6. Option C, negative 4, negative 6. Option D, negative 6, negative 4. Question number 11. Using the coordinate graph, which two points run parallel to points 1 and 2 if connected by a line? Option A, 3 and 6. Option B, 3 and 4. Option C, 
5 and 6. Option D, 4 and 5. Question number 12. Using the coordinate graph, what two points apparently would run through the origin if connected by a line? Option A, 3 and 6. Option B, 3 and 4. Option C, 4 and 5. Option D, both A and C. You'll be using this chart to answer the next four questions. The chart represents the amounts of different types of flowers sold through the San Francisco flower market during the period April through July 2022. The flowers sold are daisies, DA, roses, RO, and black-eyed Susans, BES. They're sold by the case. Daisies sell for $10 per case, roses for $50 per case, and black-eyed Susans for $5 per case. So, question number 13. Over the four-month period, what is the ratio of cases of daisies to cases of roses sold through the market? Option A, 5 to 09. Option B, 60 to 25. Option C, 85 to 59. Option D, none of the above. Question number 14. What was the combined revenue of all flower species for April? Option A, $7,100. Option B, $320. Option C, $3,200. Option D, none of the above. Question number 15. How much more revenue did the market make on roses than it made on black-eyed Susans for the four-month period? Option A, $37,500. Option B, $850. Option C, $36,650. Option D, none of the above.
That's all from this Parapro Math Practice Exam. For other Parapro Practice Exams, visit our website, paraprotest.net.